this is Landrider 7th aka LR7 Land here doing a little something different than what I normally do as this is a quick video that I'm using for practice on video editing as well as a way to announce what I have going during that time in my otherwise busy life that I have. Like for instance at the time of making this video I want to announce that I will be going to Mexico on November 22nd for an entire week straight where I will be visiting some family there as well as my great 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 grandparents' house that is now a museum which that's interesting to know that there's ancestry that goes as far back as the 1800s. I'm also going to see if it's possible to do live streaming while I'm over there. If the internet is stable enough to make this possible, definitely going to be quite an adventure once I get there. So I'll be preparing for that by the time that happens. With only two months before the year 2020 arrives, most of my projects that I have left on hold will be uploaded and finalized. So do do keep a lookout for for more content that I'll be posting within this time frame. Here I am at First Friday where every single month, which happens every 12 times a year, at the Art District of Las Vegas where food trucks are a thing and the biggest selling point is the art that they show around. Also a place where you can bring your genetically mutated gerbil with you, call it a rare species of doge. Most of the activities and the food usually takes place outside where at the time of recording this I was freezing myself looking around and even walking across the blocks here and there looking around see if something catches my eye so I can stop by and look at it which I did not do since I had no idea how long I'm going to be here while keeping this video short while having something to say about it for the most part every so often you'll see some street performers doing their stunts and dances and even entertaining the crowd giving them a show while they ask for donations so that's the gist of things here as this is more like a creative hotspot for anyone to show off their creative talents and will even sell their art pieces giving it a more homemade feel to what you're getting into there are some art pieces that are priced at a very very rare collector's items that can go up to a thousand dollars a piece depending on what you're looking for or have any idea how much something can actually go for since a value has been given based on rarity or how long it take or I'm not too sure how they priced them but this is what you get it feels like being at the renaissance of the creative and the arts just instead of it being medieval it's general from any time period and has that rebellious feel to it which gives a more unique identity specified to that particular location as you can tell there's a lot of diversity when it comes to what they show around it's almost tempting to even buy something from here there's so much to see and this video doesn't do it justice so you're better off actually going there and experience this yourself if you really like to meet the artists and get a piece of their art or even stop by to get some food while you're at it. I also want to thank you guys for the birthday messages and comments. I have some of you calling me to tell me happy birthday including some other people that I haven't heard from for a very long time reaching out to me telling me happy birthday. I even have some co-workers that surprised me and even the person in charge was announcing it as well so that was quite something that made my day a little better on my end but then Facebook makes it very convenient to remind you guys about the birthdays even if no one else tells you even received the same video from like three other people one that gives a spoof so in other words thanks once more for another reason not to delete my Facebook <laughs> Well then, this is LR7 logging off.
Thank you.